Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 7 classic Japanese motorcycles that redefined riding history. But before we start the video make sure to hit the subscribe button. Number point 7. Honda CB750 Let's embark on a nostalgic journey with the Honda CB750, the trailblazer that graced the scene from 1969 to 2003. The Honda CB750 boasted an air-cooled inline four-cylinder engine, showcasing its prowess as if it ruled the roads. In its heyday, this motorcycle reigned supreme, with its 736cc four-cylinder engine, essentially the muscle car equivalent in the motorcycle realm. Straightforward by today's standards, but back then, it was akin to bringing a spaceship to a bike duel. What stirred the excitement? The CB750 earned its stripes as the inaugural production motorcycle flaunting a transverse overhead camshaft inline four engine, becoming the rock star of the two-wheeler world. Its popularity soared to new heights, prompting Honda to ramp up production to meet the soaring demand for a taste of the CB750 experience. Crafted for stability, ease of riding, and a need for speed, the CB750 etched its mark on the motorcycle design landscape, a legacy that endures to this day. Its impactful presence lingered for a solid decade, with over 400,000 units hitting the streets, a testament to its enduring legacy. Number 6. Kawasaki Z1 Get ready to be introduced to the Kawasaki Z1, the effortlessly stylish maverick that rolled onto the stage in 1972. Sporting a four-cylinder, air-cooled powerhouse, a double overhead camshaft brain, carbureted lungs, and a chain-drive backbone, this motorcycle was the epitome of rebellion on two wheels. But hold on, the Z1 wasn't your average bike, it was the trailblazer that set the trend for the inline configuration with four cylinders across the frame, becoming all the rage. Essentially, it laid the foundation for what we now know as the modern Z1000, Kawasaki's reigning heavyweight on the streets. Diving into the Z1's credentials, it proudly flaunted a claimed 90 horsepower and could reach an impressive top speed of 132 miles per hour, making it the speed demon of its era leaving competitors in the dust. Yet, it wasn't just about speed. The Z1 was a game changer, making waves with both its striking design and stellar performance, securing its place in the annals of motorcycle fame. Rumor has it that the Z in Z1 may have signified the last letter of the alphabet, aligning with the cool Kawasaki nomenclature of the time. Number 5. Suzuki SV1000 this bold machine has been roaming the streets since 2003, and let me tell you, it's far from your typical scooter. Picture a motorcycle stripped down to the essentials, just like your morning coffee. No frills, only the essentials. Beneath the seat resides a liquid-cooled 996cc engine, a four-stroke 90-degree eight-valve V-twin DOHC TSCC powerhouse, unleashing a robust 116 horses. Suzuki didn't stop there. They incorporated agile throttle valve technology because having just one throttle valve is too mainstream. Injected with fuel for a modern touch, this bike means serious business on the road. In 2004, Suzuki decided to up the ante by refining the ergonomics, ensuring that it's not just speedy but also comfortable. It may not be a superbike, but it certainly transcends the realm of your average Sunday cruiser. Enter the Suzuki SV1000 a two-wheeled legend that's been capturing attention and leaving tire marks since the early 2000s. If motorcycles had a yearbook, this one would undoubtedly be voted most likely to make your heart race. Number 4. Honda CB92 The Honda CB92, cruising through the late 50s to the early 60s, emerges as a remarkable two-wheeled marvel, a virtual kin to the RC142 racers dominating the Isle of Man in 58, this bad boy flaunts sleek aluminum mudguards, a clever chain guard, and a fuel tank that subtly nods to the prototype CB71. Picture this, a motorcycle that not only grabs attention with its stylish features, but also boasts a generous 10.5 liters of fuel, practically a personal gas station on two wheels. Hold on, because there's more to this beauty. Its rear suspension proudly displays its springs and the eight inch magnesium hubs are the perfect cherry on the top. Bringing this powerhouse to a halt is a drum brake spectacle, with the front ones executing a twin leading shoe dance. Beneath the surface lies a no-nonsense straight-talking parallel twin four-stroke engine. With two valves per cylinder and a chain-driven overhead camshaft, it's a true heartthrob. So here you have the Honda CB92, a fusion of speed, style, and a hint of retro allure. It's not just a motorcycle, 
It's a two-wheeled time machine, transporting you back to the days when the road was your playground. Number three, Yamaha V Max. The Yamaha V Max, affectionately known as the V Max, has been turning heads since its debut in 1985, flaunting a distinctive 70-degree V4 engine shaft drive and a style that demands attention. In 2007, it evolved like a fine wine, reminiscent of the 85 classic but with strategic touch-ups in 93 for an extra dash of flair. Envision an upgraded fork, four piston brake calipers, and other sophisticated enhancements to keep the excitement alive. Fast forward to 2009, and Yamaha unveils a completely revamped VMAX boasting an all-aluminum frame, a liquid-cooled 1,679cc engine, and a brighter-than-your-future instrument readout. Featuring Yamaha's chip-controlled intake, adjustable suspension, anti-lock brakes, and a slipper clutch, they even tucked a fuel tank beneath the seat, because why not? Tech-wise, the VMAX is no slouch either. With an LED taillight, digital speedometer, trip mater fuel gauge, and all the bells and whistles. In a face-off with the Ducati Diavel, which appears to have borrowed a few zeros from its price tag, the VMAX stands out as the eye candy of the Indian biking scene. Its muscular design and a stance that exudes confidence without trying too hard make the VMAX the two-wheeled equivalent of a leather-clad rock star. Number point two, Yamaha RZ350. Behold the Yamaha RZ350, also recognized as the RD350YPVS, a true icon from the 80s that held its ground until 96, solidifying its status as the ultimate Yamaha RD series finale. Nestled beneath the seat lies a 347cc punch-packing, twin-cylinder, two-stroke liquid-cooled engine, churning out a formidable 52 horsepower. The real showstopper, however, is the Yamaha power valve system, acting as the bike's personal DJ, skillfully tuning the exhaust port for an impressive power play. What sets the RZ350 apart is its introduction of the perimeter frame to the US market, serving as the stylish backbone to this marvel on wheels. The design is nothing short of perfection. A sleek, minimalist, yet sporty fuel tank complements the attention-grabbing frame. Yet, let's not overshadow the true celebrity. The RZ350 is undeniably drop-dead gorgeous. Picture the 80s throwing a party, and this bike arrives, impeccably dressed to turn heads. With its narrow, exposed engine and the steel perimeter frame, the RZ350 is a visual masterpiece. It's not just a bike, it's a bold statement on two-wheel excellence. Number 1. Kawasaki GPZ900R Introducing the Kawasaki GPZ900R, also known as the Ninja 900, a legendary two-wheeler that dominated the streets from 1984 to 2000. It stands as the original sport bike, the founding figure of the Kawasaki Ninja lineage and a true game-changer. What set it apart? Get ready for some fascinating details. It showcased the world's inaugural 16-valve liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder engine, essentially pioneering the concept of stylish bikes before it became a trend. Boasting a 908cc four-cylinder engine with a robust 115 horsepower, this machine could reach a top speed of 151 miles per hour, officially marking it as the initial road bike to surpass the 150 barrier. But the GPZ 900R wasn't solely focused on speed records. It possessed a magnetic charisma, clinching the Bike of the Year accolade in numerous countries, and even making a notable appearance in Top Gun, solidifying its status as the heartthrob of its era on two wheels. Enjoying a stint as the best-selling bike globally for a considerable period, the GPZ 900R etched an enduring legacy in motorcycle history. Despite its retirement in 2003, murmurs of a potential comeback persist underscoring that this icon refuses to fade into oblivion. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more two-wheeled adventures. Until next time, ride safe.